Stunning new video is raising questions about the condition of rail cars involved in it, the fiery train derailment that happened last week in Ohio. Yeah, you may recall residents were forced to temporarily leave their homes after the train derailed in East Palestine. I know they say it, Palestine is where they say it there, earlier this month, uh, releasing hazardous chemicals. And the video on your screen now shows uh, that the train appeared to be on fire. This is interesting, 20 miles before it reached the site where it actually went off the tracks, derailed. Now the footage uh, on your screen is captured by a security camera at an equipment plant uh, in Salem, Ohio. Let's bring in Erica Moke. She's a reporter for our Pittsburgh affiliate KDK TV. Erica, what can you tell us about what this video is all about, what it shows, and what new questions does it raise? Yeah, so the video that you're seeing is from Butek Bliss, and as you mentioned, it's an industrial equipment facility. Um, you're seeing those sparks on a portion of the train, and as you mentioned, where this facility, where this video was shot, is about 20 miles from East Palestine, where that derailment happened, right? So the camera, when the train is passing that camera, when this footage was captured, this was around... 8.12 that evening. The derailment happened, as I mentioned, 20 miles later at around 8.55. So this brings up the question of, okay, when was the crew on board made aware that there was an issue? So this brings up the issue of the detectors, which are alongside the tracks. And these detectors are in place so that the crew on board knows if there is something that is malfunctioning, if there is something that they need to be aware of, because if they're aware of that, it's to help them avoid situations exactly like the one that we are talking about here. Now, I spoke to a retired Norfolk Southern um, railroad engineer, and he was saying that these detectors are placed about every 20 miles. So we're right in that zone where we're questioning, okay, where was the detector? When was the crew alerted to an issue? We do know that the crew did get an alert. So anytime there is an issue on the tracks, that crew is alerted. Those detectors alert the crew on board. And when there is an alert, they do need to stop the train, in some cases, immediately. Now, what this retired Norfolk Southern um, engineer was saying is that basically they were looking at, in this video, what could be considered a hot wheel. These detectors can detect if there is some sort of difference in temperature, right? So he believes that if the detector was in the area where we're seeing that hot wheel, the crew should have been notified right away. The question is, if it was hot enough at the time when it went over the detector to notify them in time, or if they had already gone over that detector in, say, Salem, the Salem area, um, before that wheel started to spark and get hot. Like I said, we do know that there was an alert that was passed on to the crew. But again, it comes down to the question of where that detector was, how quickly they were able to get that message, and then ultimately stop that train. So those are the questions that are coming up now and definitely something that the, the NTSB is looking into. They've talked with the crew members on board to see what alerts they got, when they got them, and they'll also be reviewing um, inward-facing cameras on that train and audio recorders to determine if their actions match up with what exactly they were supposed to be doing on that train when they get those alerts. Wow. Erica Mokai, thank you so much uh, for that thorough explanation. We'll, we'll stay tuned.